If you're a fan of Jane Betteridge, you've probably seen some of her books that have been published by Search Press. Now, the first one I got was Watercolours Unleashed. It's a brilliant book. I absolutely love it. The pictures are so nice. I'm not really talking about this book today. Just a very quick flip through just to show you. And just in case you haven't seen it, it's a really good introduction to Jane's work and highly recommended. So I love this book. I followed Jane with her workshops on the SAA and her work is just so exciting. Now the second book I have is Dynamic Watercolours and that was published in 2019 and then Watercolour Nature Unleashed was a 2023 edition. Now I love this book, it's really great. When I saw Watercolour Nature Unleashed I thought it's a brand new book. But luckily Search Press on their website, they're very good at telling you if a book is just reprinted or whether it's updated. And I noticed that there were going to be some changes. And so I was torn. Do I buy this book even though it could be very similar to Dynamic Watercolours? So I spoke to Search Press and I asked them what does this actually mean apart from the cover is changed. And they told me the projects have been expanded and updated, the core techniques and guidance are similar, but there are plenty of new ideas. Now, I have to say, I really love the new cover. I mean, this is a great book. Um, it's really nice. But I just like the colours better on this cover. These are my favourite colours. And I also think the title, it, it goes better with the watercolours unleashed. Um, you've just got the nature in there so I think that's a great start now it's going to be quite difficult for me to show you these two books at the same time because I don't have an extra set of hands but you can see it, here we have the same picture slightly different angle and the text is different and then we're going to move on to the next page I'm not going to show you every single page but you can see here that inside cover there it's just basically the text that's different. It's going to be very tricky to do this. And then we move on to the contents. I have got some markers in, some pages I need to show you. Now the contents are the same. So although the text is different, I think the new version is much clearer and easy to read, which is nice. Um, it's always good when the print is, is nice and clear. So although this is, is very pretty, this is definitely much easier to read. And then I noticed the first thing, we have the same picture in here, but there seemed to be an extra line here. But not to fear, that's over the page. So here we have a slightly expanded introduction. Now on the new book, the all the secrets are here is printed on this first line and this has been expanded slightly and you'll see the pictures are really great in the original but they're slightly darker so they've freshened it up and brightened them up and I do think this is great that you can see the detail a bit better and Jane's pictures are just wonderful so it's really nice to see all of the detail in this and we've got a few other pages I need to show you. So I'm not going to show you every single page because it's just to give you an idea of how the projects have actually been changed. So with this one, we've got the painting pictures and we have Budlia and Bindweed. And you can see here, this is all basically the same. We have got slightly different text again, circles and squares. And the other thing that you'll find on several, several pages where you had a full page picture, you now have maybe not quite the full page and the title of the picture. And I have some more pages. I will do a little flip through of the new book at the end to show you. So we can find this other picture without me knocking my tripod over. Now here's where we do have a bit of a change. So page 40, we have a textured leaf, but on page 40 here we have summer meadow. So that I think is lovely. I think that's really nice. That is an improvement. And I also prefer the picture of honesty on this page, page 41. I think that's just a really pretty sort of slightly closer view when you can see more of the detail and then we're going to look at page 64 which is very tricky doing this now 
64. So page 64 is painting golden hogweed and here instead we have ivy and I think the silver cow parsley, it is quite difficult in the original book to see the details. I think this is a much nicer image here. We can clearly see the leaves and the stems and that is really nice. So you also, you don't have the smaller pictures here. So they were showing you the, the close up here, but where these pictures are more detailed, you, you can see instantly the details there. Let's try and find the next page. My book doesn't want to open. I'm going to keep missing that page. Here it is. We're going to get there in a minute. Now we've just got to find the same page in the other book. Here we go. Magical Woodland. And you can see here, it's basically the same information. But you have, this page is the same. And then they've swapped just the shape of the pictures on these two pages but they are all labelled up so on the new book you have a slightly larger picture here for number 14 I think this is a, a good project to show you because we have some slight differences so again they've just changed from this shape to the rectangles you have a larger picture here for the f picture for number 24 and then on the final page, again, not a lot of difference, but you just, instead of the full page, you have a slightly a smaller picture, but it's still absolutely brilliant. Not a lot of difference in there, apart from the changes on the actual sizes and shapes of the pictures. So what I want to do now is just have a little flip through. And I do think, you know, this cover and the title goes better with the watercolour unleashed. There's nothing wrong with this book. I was really happy with this book until I saw this one. And I didn't need to buy it. I honestly did not need to buy it. If you have the original, don't feel bad if you can't afford to buy this updated version. For me, it was worth it because it is just a bit brighter and fresher. I really like what you know, Search Press has done here. Uh, the changes in the few pictures have changed. Um, I just think they are nicer pictures. I just think everything is really brilliant. You've got lots of more ideas of expanding your work. And it's just Jane Betteridge, her pictures are just so exciting. So everything in this book is absolutely beautiful. And I think, you know, don't feel bad if you can't afford to buy this one at the moment. Watch out for some offers, look out for a hurt book, because the hurt books are never very hurt with search press. Or put it on your birthday list if you want to, if you feel you can't live without this book. There are ways that you can, you know, get a copy a um, bit later on. But see, if you're happy with this book, that's absolutely fine. It may not bother you. For me, I love my books so much. I love to pick them up and flip through them. If you've missed this book um, because it's gone out of print, you can't find it anyway, don't worry. Just go ahead and get Watercolour Nature Unleashed because it's there for a reason. It is really, really lovely and you will not be disappointed with this book. So it's absolute personal choice if you already have the first book, whether you want to go ahead and buy the updated one or if you're going to stick with your original. Nothing wrong with it. It's just entirely up to you. Personally, I'm very happy that I bought the updated one. I just really love the pictures in it. And it's just a beautiful book. All of Jane's books are beautiful. So up to you. I hope this has helped just to show you the differences.